puppet show is Jonah Runs from the Lord. The Lord gave this message to Jonah. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh. Announce my judgment against it because I have seen how wicked its people are. But Jonah got up and went in the opposite direction to get away from the Lord. He went down to the port of Joppa. There he found a ship leaving for Tarshish. He bought a ticket and went on board, hoping to escape from the Lord by sailing to Tarshish. <coughs> but the Lord hurled a powerful wind over the sea, causing a violent storm that threatened to break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the desperate sailors shouted to their gods for help and threw the cargo overboard to lighten the ship. But all this time, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down after him. How can you sleep at a time like this, he shouted. Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will spare our lives. Then the crew cast lots to see who was to blame for the terrible storm. When they did this, the lots fell to Jonah. Why has this awful storm come down on us? They demanded. Who are you? Where are you from? What have you done? Jonah answered, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord who made the sea and the land. The sailors were terrified when they heard this. What should we do to you to stop this storm? Throw me into the sea, Jonah said, and it will be calm again. I know that this terrible storm is all my fault. Then the sailors picked Jonah up and threw him into the raging sea and the storm stopped at once. The sailors were amazed by the Lord's great power and vowed to serve him. Now the Lord had arranged for a great fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and three nights. <laughs> then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from inside the fish. Jonah prayed earnestly to the Lord for three days. Then the Lord ordered the fish to spit Jonah out onto the beach. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh and deliver the message I have given you. This time Jonah obeyed the Lord's command and went to Nineveh. On the day Jonah entered the city, he shouted to the crowd, Forty days from now Nineveh will be destroyed. The people of Nineveh believed God's message. They declared it fast and put on sackcloth. When the king of Nineveh heard what Jonah was saying, he stepped down from his throne. He dressed himself in sackcloth and sat on a heap of ashes. Then the king and his nobles sent this decree throughout the city. Everyone must pray to God and turn from their evil ways. Perhaps God will change his mind and hold back his fierce anger from destroying us. When God saw what they had done, he changed his mind and did not destroy the city. This greatly upset Jonah, and he be became very angry. So he complained to the Lord about it. Didn't I say that you would do this, Lord? I knew you, that you are a merciful and compassionate God, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Just kill me now, Lord. The Lord replied, Is it right for you to be angry about this? Then Jonah went out to the east side of the city and sat down and waited to see what would happen. And the Lord God arranged for a leafy plant to
to grow there, and soon it spread its broad leaves over Jonah's head, shading him from the sun. Jonah was very grateful for his life, but God also sent a worm. The next morning at dawn, the worm ate through the stem of the plant so that it withered away. And as the sun grew hot, God arranged for a scorching east wind to blow on Jonah. The sun beat down the sun beat down on his head until he grew faint and wished to die. Death is certainly better than living like this, he exclaimed. Then God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry because the plant died? Yes, Jonah answered, even angry enough to die. The Lord said, You feel sorry about the plant, so you did nothing to put it there. But Nineveh has more than 120,000 people living in spiritual darkness. Shouldn't I feel sorry for such a great city? The end. Oh. <laughs>